today we're building the Lost Street Mini Candy Shop. I've been creating my Lost Mini Street scene and it's almost done. This is the last one I'm going to add to the scene. Then it's almost a complete street scene which I will show you by end of this build. And let's open this and see what it looks like inside. We've got a little sticker sheet and four bags of bricks. With the Lost set, they don't separate the bags and number them for you so you pretty much have to open all of them here's the little pile of mini bricks here are the instructions so let's build the first five steps first which is the floor of the store and the ground level in interior let's go with um, the laws instructions they do tell you the bricks required to build each step which I think is essential given the bricks aren't separated in different bags so because there's so many bricks I do look for the bricks I need to complete the step first before I start building otherwise I think there's just too much room for error so let's find the bricks for the next step We finished tiling the floor of the store and the ground floor interior now. There's already a lot of details as you can see. We've made a little counter, the cake stand behind the counter, there's some ice cream and little candy bars in the tray and also some little windows and a little flat pot. We're now going to make the windows that's going to close up the ground floor as well as a roof. My cat wants to get involved again. He's always walking in front of my bricks when I'm building, just to make it harder. We've now finished the roof of our first floor and the two little windows on the side. There's a little cake stand at the front of the shop. There's a clear cake stand with a pink cherry on the top. There are actually cookie and cupcake pieces in the stand. We'll now be making the main door of the store. Uh, we're about halfway through now, which means the process to look for bricks has become easier. I think initially I've actually spent more time looking for bricks than actually building it. The front door is now done. You can see a little open sign on the door which is really cute. We've used a lot of um, stickers already including the wood pattern around the frame and some of the shop signs, candy bars, etc. Which I don't prefer because the sticker sheet usually with lot sets are not fantastic. They are not super adhesive and I find them to be peeling off over time. But I guess that's the part where it's a lot more budget than Legos. now done the top roof of the shop and there are two little window pieces we made earlier which I think are the walls and windows of the second floor. I'll be assembling them before we connect it to the main body. So I've finally put together the roof and the first level wall for the candy shop. This was a really tricky bit because there are a lot of tiny bits that needs to slot, slot together. As a common issue with a loss blocks, not everything slots together that well, so it, it keeps breaking when I was trying to build it. So I spent a lot of time fixing it, and, but I finally, I think, I think it's finally put together now. Um, 
We'll put this aside and assemble it a little bit later. Now we have to make the final pieces, which is the large lollipop on top of the roof, large straw, and also a large bow for the shop front. We have finished our candy store. It's got some amazing details given how small it is. It was quite tricky to build and took a little bit longer than average. I'm going to add it to my mini street scene now and let's have a look what it looks like. I have added the candy shop to my mini street. It should really slot in with the toy shop but I just it was so tight I had to give up it was at the if I really have to push it in it's probably at the expense of destroying the whole mini street but here's a little view of my mini street I've got all these street scenes I've already made added the burger shop and the drink store to end of the street and some ice cream and fairy floss carts I'm also adding some of the fairground builds eventually i want to make it look like a little street carnival the base plate is actually a lego base plate so scale wise it's probably not perfect it's a lot larger than the scale of the actual street but this is all i can find for now so we'll also have to settle for that uh, and i still have a little minifigure i want to add let's just stand her in front of the candy shop